Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekabit. I am Penge, and it is time for some more Civilization VI Rise and Fall Loyalty Flip Challenge. Although, to be fair, we are not doing much in the way of loyalty flipping at all in any way, shape, or form. It's just not kind of working for us. It's not really working. We've got these two. We've got these two cities here. They loyalty flipped, and that's quite good. Everybody else is kind of settling a respectable distance away. I mean, Candy here, City State Candy, isn't really helping. Their position is not really helping, because if they weren't there, probably another city might have settled along here somewhere, because it's, you know, that's a fairly good place. There's a river and stuff. Well, there's a river over here. We might have kind of got somebody a bit nearer. Um, Moscow down here, possibly we might be able to work on that, although it is quite a distance away. We need someone to settle fairly close by. However, there is this big bit of land up here. It's a big expanse. It's sort of sticking out into the, what, the sort of far northeast corners of the map, and nobody... Has settled here. Now this bit down here probably not quite as appealing, not so interested in people settling down there. But up here, I think people are going to start settling here in the near future. The land over here, like you know America, they're probably getting a bit congested, there's not that much land to settle on anymore, and you know, they might find a few little spots. People are kind of still settling around their sort of existing borders, but soon at some point they're going to get bored. They're going to get bored of that, they're going to be looking further afield for shiny new resources, and they're going to come over here. And hopefully, because they are so far away from their realms, from their empires, whatever you want to call them, um, we will be able to flip them over. That's the plan. That is the plan. I hope it works. <laughs> I don't know. Otherwise, we're going to be kind of stuck. We're going to be kind of stuck with four cities. I'm trying my best. We're trying our finest work to get... Um, uh, Tokyo on board, but it just isn't working. Oh, however, loyalty to Japanese Empire is falling. Not points per turn. That is intriguing. So it's it's kind of balanced. So it's falling not points per turn. That's fine, but it's balanced. So that means that it's not going up. It's not increasing. It's rising 39 points. It's rising 47 points per turn. That is actually falling. Right, what can we do? What can we do? If we can if we can get I don't know, two more loyalty points at them. Maybe that'll start falling. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, okay. Also, it is a very exciting time in the era of the Mapuche because many things are happening. First things first, we're going to choose a civic. Let's pick a civic. Uh, we have ourselves a few obvious ones. Now, what I do want is, is it one which gives us a governor thing? No. It does give us an envoy. I'm very tempted to pick Theology just to get the envoy from it. It's two turns. It's hardly any time at all. So let's do that. We'll get ourselves a free envoy. Okie doke. Now we get to claim a great person, which is also very exciting. It's a great merchant. So you gain 200 gold and you gain two envoys. I might skip him. I don't need the gold. I've got 1,307. Two envoys could be useful, but I get them anyway. I'm going to skip this person and we'll go for the next one. So hopefully the next person is a bit better. So we'll pass on you. Uh, then we need to give some orders. Now here we go. Galileo, Galileo, da, 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 all that one. Um, Galileo here, uh, he appeared. We lost a race for whoever the previous person was in uh, the science, uh, the, the great scientist sort of list. We were trying to get the uh, one from under the noses of the Congo, was it? We were trying to steal him away. But I think they cottoned onto our plan. They probably bought him. I think they might have spent some of their... Uh, faith or gold and actually sort of buying him outright rather than waiting for time to tick down and we got this person here instead so we got Galileo and Galileo has an excellent excellent ability that is perfect for our particular situation because we have so many gosh darn it mountains so here we go gain 250 science on standard speed which is what we're on for each adjacent mountain tile there are five <laughs> there are five of them one two three four five count them indeed however Actually, hang on. That doesn't count as a mountain, does it? Oh, that's a good, that's a good, good, good job. I spotted that. Can we get anywhere where there's five? One, two, three, and four. No, I don't think actually we can get anywhere where there are five mountain tiles around. One, two, three, that's four. Okay, no, that's a good point. Yeah, that, is, that doesn't count as a mountain. That's not a mountain. Even though it says it appears as a mountain and it looks quite like a mountain it looks very mountainy um yeah apparently it, that isn't a mountain that's not a mountain <laughs> but i don't think we've got anywhere where we can actually be surrounded by any more than four mountains then given that is not one uh just there is one two three here yeah even there look it's the same it's one two three and four so it's like what we've got here anyway so do you know what yeah let's use him there i don't see any other places which are going to benefit one two three just there that's not a mountain so that's only one and 
two for just there. That's not very good at all. That's four just there. So, um, yeah. Okay, doke. Now, that's fine. That's fine. We, I can I can cope with that much free science. So, we should get 1,000 free science. So, we're going to discover gunpowder pretty much now when we do this. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Thank you, Galileo. Okay. Gunpowder done. And I believe... We'll probably get a free science, or certainly, yes, yeah, pretty much free. One turn to do it. So uh, what's the hardest one for us to learn? What's the furthest one ahead? Because there's no real point wasting it on something like Celestial Navigation. Although, yes, we do have... So it's counted in points. It's not really wasted. But I'd rather use one on one of these. So we can do this. Uh, mass production, cartography, lead on to industrialization. Industrialization, industrialization sorry, could be good. And a sanitation... Sanitation is going to be very useful indeed for us because we've got housing issues, particularly in the capital. We've not got that much housing. So plus two housing from the sewer would be very useful indeed. That'd be very, very good. Okay, yeah, should we go for that? Should we go for a sewer? So head towards sanitation. So do whatever we need to do to get sanitation. So we'll get astronomy, which is exciting. Oh, now, however, we will be pushing ourselves into a different era. Oh, maybe that's not the best plan okay get get astronomy get astronomy in because cartography is about boats we've not got any boats mass production is about boats so we haven't got any boats <laughs> metal casting a bombard oh oh a bombard that could be quite tempting that could be tempting oh yes do we do we go for that or do we go for castles no let's go for let's go for metal casting i'm com being completely indecisive metal casting please right a unit needs orders now oh, this is our scouts our scouts having a jolly little wander around let's go up there look we're going to try and walk around rome because we haven't actually found the roman capital i don't believe no we don't know where rome is okay what do we want to construct in biscuits what do we want to build over here uh, don't want to build any of the projects. Well, let's build ourselves another district, shall we? What's going to be good? Uh, they've got plenty of amenities, so I don't think we need an entertainment complex right now. They've got loads of housing. They've got absolutely loads of it. So, an encampment to build some good old military or a commercial hub to get us some of the monies. Monies would be useful. That's a good spot for it as well, just there. Plus three monies per turn. Then we can start buying units instead of uh, training them up. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? Yes, absolutely. Put it just there. That's good. And now another big thing. There's an awful lot going on. There's an awful lot going on. The year 1200 is a very big year. Um, A new government. A new government. And this is the one we sort of uh, strive toward. Merchant Republic. Monarchy. You get plus one housing per level of walls. I guess that could be useful. But as we just saw there, we've got quite a lot of housing in some of the other cities. Uh, plus 50 influence points. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Uh, theocracy, religious strength, blah, blah, blah. Not bothered. Uh, this one here, plus 10% gold in all cities with an established governor, which will hopefully be all of them in the near future. And 15% production toward districts, which is very good. And that's quite appropriate from what we just actually deployed there. So yeah, let's go for that. Merchant Republic. They are enthusiastic. People jumping around in the streets. Okay, so we get ourselves... An extra wildcard policy and an extra economic policy. Now, what do we want? Wildcard policy. We do have the oligarchic legacy. All land, melee, anti-cavalry and naval melee class units gain plus four combat strength. That'd be good when we go to war. We can swap that in when we have a big old war. What I'm thinking is we get ourselves some great merchant points going. Get some more great merchant points going over because they, they have some very good things. If you get great merchants that give you, you know, special luxuries and all that, that's very, very good. So scientists and merchants, lovely. Charismatic leader, we'll keep that. We'll keep the limitane, plus two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrison unit. Natural philosophy is the campus uh, district adjacency bonus boost. And now... What else do we want to go for? We have one more economic policy. One more. Some of them are going to be far more use than others. Plus two housing in all cities with at least three specialty districts. That might be very useful. But adjacency zone, adjacency zone, industrial zone, adjacency bonuses could be good for massive production boosts. Do you know what? Let's go down that. Let's go craftsman. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. Yes, for now. That'll do for now. Castles has been boosted for some reason. Oh, because of the new government. Okie doke. Very exciting. And here we go. Ancient traditions of governance evolve and Lutaro, Lutaru, however I pronounce my name, Captain Boyband, chooses Merchant Republic 
as its new way to rule. Indeed, I do. So currently 103 out of 123 era score. Okay, so we could do with a bit more era score going on, but there we go. So a whole new era begins, a new dawn, the year 1200. We've got a new government going forward, and it's all looking very good indeed. Campus being built, commercial hub. We're building the Great Zimbabwe, which I've never, ever built before. I've never built it. I've never worked out how to do it. Never had the situational sort of uh, thing quite right, but now I can, so that's why I'm doing it. Just because I'm excited and giddy at the fact that I can do it. So let's move that catapult out of the way. Because I want to actually see what it looks like. How very dare you game. Taking me back. So it looks round. Okay, good. Just some round bricks at the minute. It'd be nice if they hurried up with the round bricks. Uh, Brew needs more housing. I know, Brew. We're on it. We're on the case. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's head up there. Let's head up there. Let's have a little wander around Roman territory. Another great person. It's the other great merchant. Okay, so I got them pretty quick. Wow. Uh, your trade routes to your own cities gain 0.5 gold for each specialty district at the destination. Gain an envoy. Do you know what? I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Yeah, why not? We'll have you. You're quite good. Uh, Raja Todamal. Good hat, sir. Good hat. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll have you. That's fine. And we'll put you into the commercial hub and you can do your thing. So we should see a little gold boost, which is nice, and an envoy as well, which is good. So, oh yeah, extra five gold per turn. That's only going to go up as we build more more sort of uh, districts, which is good. Oh, another era score. And an envoy. Okay. Where do we want to send the envoy? Do we want to send the envoy over to Hong Kong to try and boost it toward six? So we get six envoys in there, so then factories become more effective. Do we want to... Oh, now that's quite tempting. That's quite tempting. Plus two science in every library building. Yeah, let's try and head towards that. Absolutely. I'm thinking now about end game stuff already. I'm thinking we might be okay with a science focus. We might be good with science going our way. That could be very, very good. Because, I mean, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well in terms of science. I don't know how everyone else is doing. I should go and check the... Um, Check the leaderboard in a second. Right, we've got Theology, which gives us another Envoy, which means we can go straight for that Geneva thing. And we should get a boost of well, at least plus four, I would have thought. Uh, yeah, it doesn't always tick over, does it, until the next turn. But um, yeah, we should have a good boost there, I would have thought. Because we've certainly got two libraries. Certainly got two libraries. So um, yeah, that could be quite good. That'd be a nice science push. Civic next. Naval Tradition also gives us an Envoy. However, we could do this... Divine Right just gives us monarchy. I'm not that bothered. Uh, faith and faith-based sort of things. So, yeah, I'm not so fussed about that. Diplomatic service. Oh, resident embassies are quite good, though. Resident embassies could be useful. And we can make spies. Oh, now spies could be good. Because spies can bring loyalty down, I believe. I don't know how. I've never done it. But I'm very tempted by the Taj Mahal. I like that. Plus one era score from historic moment earned after this wonder is complete. If that moment is usually worth two or more. Must be built next to a river. But also you can build these things. You can get the museums in. Which would get us some culture. But also get some um, some great works of art. And if we do the archaeological one as well somewhere. We can go digging. We can put some archaeologists and go all Indiana Jones. And go and start digging stuff up. Which is very, very cool. So I think we're going to go down that route. Let's go down humanism. That will do us quite well in the future, I think. Get ourselves some culture in. We can look. Invention. Great engineer points. I like the great engineers. I like the great people. I do like getting the great people on board. I think they're very, very good. Ooh. Barbars. Hello, Barbars. Uh, right, let's have a look. There's Rome. Oh, we found it. There we go. Rome was discovered in a day. There it is. We found it. Right, hang on. Are there some Barbar? Is there an encampment? Yes, there is. Right, let's go and kill it to get some era score. Kill the encampment. Kill the encampment. Uh, yep, I think probably those guys can just sort of do it all by themselves. Can we uh, can we upgrade these guys? Can swordsmen be upgraded? To musket man. Is it worth upgrading one unit? Oh, look, that's, a, that's the core as well. Should we upgrade those for 465 gold? Because we get the money. We get that back in 10 turns. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make us a scary military force. Ba-da! Ooh! Before, knight was merely a curiosity of scholars. Now our musket men wield, wield it as a weapon for the first time in the world. Yes, we've got shooty guns. Oh, and the era of guns has arrived. 
Oh, dearie me. Okay, and these guys are going to be slowly becoming less and less useful. The um, great generals. Because now I imagine musket men are probably a sort of renaissance era type thing. Oh, scout face. I rather think not. Cheerio. Shooty shoots. Right, okay, good. Uh, yeah, you can come down here, see what's in there. <laughs> Some poultry, poultry uh, sort of spearmen or whatever they were. So, uh, yeah, we can take care of those guys, I'm fairly sure. Okay, interesting. What's that there? Dominant religion is Sikhism. Whereas this place does not have... Rome does not have a dominant religion yet. How intriguing. We spotted barbarians approaching our city of Brute. Yeah, don't worry. We'll sort those barbarians out. They're a bit rubbish. There are only scouts. The only worry I have is to start pillaging things, which becomes very tedious. But, um, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, he is asking for some nitre. And he's going to give me some dyes and some gold. Do I want to give him the ability to construct shooty people? But he will give me dyes, which is quite good. That's quite good. But then he's going to have the nighter to do shooty shootings. Do you know what? Why not? It's only for 30 turns. It's not like he's going to have them forever. So, okay. Yeah, I'm absolutely with it. You have my thanks. Yes. Good. Good job. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheerio. Right, the scout is proving to be a bit annoying. Can we uh, fire on the scout from anybody? Oh yeah, this place can. The city can fire. So let's do that first, shall we? Bosh. Oh, all right. Well, the city has certainly dealt with that then. Uh, and then you guys can just sort of storm in. Duh, 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 duh. There we go. Next turn, that'll all be sorted. Um, brew. Upgrade to a crossbow man. That's probably worth doing. Yay! Maybe we want to do that with all our units, actually, thinking about it. And uh, the tour of Rome continues. Ooh! They've got the thing. The thing there. Petra. They're building Petra. Go and have a little look around Petra. Why not? It's probably very, very interesting. <laughs> Go and have a little nosy around there. So is that the extent of Rome? It's got four cities. Really? Rome normally go on about having... Rome normally have like massive, massive empires. And that's their thing, isn't it? They like having lots of territory. Okie doke. Right. Go in and sort these guys out. Clearly kill. And we don't get any era score for it anymore. Do we not get any era score for killing barbars? Oh, that's just a shame, isn't it? Oh, no. How am I going to get my era score up? I don't know how I'm going to do it. A uh, temple or a market... Or chicken pizza. I'm not going to do chicken pizza, I don't think. Um, what do we want to go for? A knight? No, because this place hasn't got a encampment in it. Let's go for a market. More gold, more great merchant points, and a trade route, which is always very, very lovely. So yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. The number of people living in your empire is truly impressive, says Long Nose. You have satisfied Trajan's agenda, populist. Well, I'm glad I've satisfied you, Trajan. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for popping by. Uh, yeah, look. Look. There's uh, another barbarian outpost just there. What I might do is run those guys back into there. I might upgrade them and then go and take on those barbars and just see what happens. Get some, some experience, I guess. Uh, the scouts might as well have a wander around up here because we don't really know much of what's up here. Kind of Arabia's up there somewhere. But other than that, we don't really know. And Brew. Brew has finished. Now, Brew has a bit of a housing issue. Is there anything we can do? To sort that problem out. I don't think there is. Unless we get a university. So we build a library and then build a university. I don't think there's anything else we could do about that right now. Unless we get a builder. We could buy a builder from Teapot. Because they have extra charges. Uh, we could buy them from there. Because the um, the government uh, sort of plaza thingamabob. The audience chamber I think it was. Wasn't it? Which gives them a boost. So the builders have plus one charge. Which is good. We could send them down here. Get them to do some sort of work over here. Hang on. Does Brew have... No, that's not Brew. That's a trader. Click Brew. Manage citizens. Yeah, can they have that tile? That'd be good if Brew could have that tile. That'd be really useful. Oh, this is all just rubbishy tiles. Oh, ooh, but they do have that tile there. Oh, that's very intriguing. Okay. Uh, that needs to remain with the capital. Is there any tiles I could have where they could, you know, grow some food? I think it's that one, really. And that one will black that for a farm as well. Yeah, okay, there's a plan then, there's a plan. Right, Brew, get yourself a library, because that's useful. Teapot, let us purchase 
a builder for 325 gold. Do you know what? That's what we earn the gold for. Why the heck not? Let's actually invest and do stuff. Tokyo still with archers. <laughs> Japan. Japan with archers. I have sent a delegation to you with gifts from our empire. They bring the sweetest fruit, rare snow to cool you on even the hottest day, and the most excellent of horses. Please receive them as our courtesy. Snow? Yeah, that was confusing me with Arabia and their snow. I don't really know where they get the snow from. Your delegation is most welcome. Bring in the snow. Let's make a snowman, have a snowball fight, and then eat fruit. That sounds like a rock and roll day to me. Uh, okay, yeah, let's upgrade these guys. 230 gold. Boom. Shooty gunmen. More shooty gunmen. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a builder. So yes, we want to come down here. Now, could we also help Teapot out? We could build on there. Oh, look. Nitre. We've got another source of nitre. That's very cool. Let's go up there. Cross that river, Scout. And another envoy. Crikey. Okay. Uh, what do we want to go for now, then? What do we want to go for now? There's not very many sciencey, um, sciencey ones. Uh, so city-states. I would like there to be more. Plus two science in every university building. Your cities earn plus 15% science whenever you are not at war with any civilization. I think it's probably worth being good friends with Geneva. That's a very, very good thing to have. So let's dedicate two. Oh, because it's from our new government structure, isn't it? Okay, so we're not going to get any immediate benefit. No immediate bonus now. But then we will do very, very soon. Next time we have... An envoy to send. We'll get some more science. And hopefully then we can be their suzerain and get a big old science boost. That would be very, very good indeed. That's going to help quite a lot. Particularly if we're heading toward a sort of science victory. If we're focusing on that. That might be good. Oh, Okay. Those guys have appeared. Right. Uh, farm. Yay. Farm. You are shooting men. You can shoot those scouts. I imagine you will kill them pretty much straight away. And there is something Norwegian there. Hamar. The little city of Hamar. Oh, I see. I see. You're settling your little cities over that side, do you? Instead of over toward me. Well, thanks a bunch. How is um how is that doing? Oh, it's going back up. Loyalty to Japanese Empire rising 2.6. Oh, that's not very good, is it? We need more people. We need more people. That's going to grow soon. That could be good. That could grow a bit. And then we'll have more people there. We need more people. We need more people and more things to push loyalty that way. Is there anything else we can do to make loyalty go that way? I don't know if there is. Okay, the builders, they need to cross the river. So there we go. They can pop over the river. Uh, and you guys, you guys head down and take this encampment thing out, this bar bar encampment. I think you'll be fine. You've got shooty guns. The barbarians look. I bet they've probably got shooty guns now, haven't they? Now I've got guns. They probably, I don't know, run in and stole some of them. But uh, yeah, they're be I bet they're not. I bet they're sort of spearmen or pikemen or something. You know, a little bit more basic. Okay, let's run the scouts up here. Oh, citrus, oranges, lovely. Uh, and Biscuits built its market, which has given us another trade route, which is very, very good. And our banks are now building. Yeah, so we get plus five gold. We could do that, or we could get ourselves a trader. I think that's a good idea. Trader, trader, trader. All the trade routes, all of the time. And now Brew. What can Brew build? 12 turns to build a university. That is probably a good plan because housing is just completely stalled here. It's a bit of a problem because of the mountains. There's so many mountains. So yeah, university is plus one housing. And plus one housing is no bad thing. And plus four science is also lovely. So uh, yeah, right. university. It's going to take a little while to get there. A little while to get that. But okay, we'll work on it. We'll slowly sort of chip away at that. They're going to put a farm there. And then I have a choice of either going to get that nighter from just there... Or coming back down here and knocking those trees down and then putting a farm on there, possibly. Because I'd rather have size. I'd rather have more um, more people around. Because this place is alright at production. It's got, you know, mines over here and stuff over here. It'll be fine. Uh, we've got metal casting, which means we might be able to upgrade that to a bomb bar. 250 gold. And yeah, now I'm going to be a little bit more careful with my gold. <laughs> going to be a bit more careful because we haven't got that much. Right now, I've been spending it a little bit willy-nilly, haven't I? Uh, let's get castles. Two turns. Two turns. And, uh, yeah, nice and simple. Just get it done. Get it out of the way. You guys can continue your journey down here. Yay, there we go. Spearmen. They're not even half-decent units. They're rubbish units. Uh, right. Is this going to help brew? Five out of five housing. If we then build there, 
Because that, oh, hello, right, okay. Oh, bar bars, bar bars at the top. Has that helped brew in any way, shape or form? Uh, five out of seven housing and they're going to grow, which is lovely, which is exactly what we want. That is exactly what we want. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very, very good. Now, what's going to happen next? I don't think there's much going to happen. Five turns into the Great Zimbabwe stone. I think we've got that. Oh, hello, Chaucer. Hello, Chaucer. <laughs> Come for a little look around. How are you? Come on a tour. All right, well, well, welcome aboard. Oh, hang on. Chaucer's vanished? He was over there. Wasn't Chaucer just here? And oh, no, there he is. Oh, he's, he's... I don't know what he's doing. Chaucer's having a bit of a moment. It's fine. Right, humanism. Yay! So we can build various museum-y things. That's very exciting. Uh, you guys pop over there. Get in the way of that Japanese unit. I want to kill those guys for the experience. And, um, yeah, what do we do with you guys now, then? We've got a builder with one go left. What could we do with those to make it, you know, the best use of our resources? You know, that's going to be quite good for a teapot. Is teapot using that tile? Yes, they are. Teapot are using that tile. If we put a mine on that, it gives us nitre and teapot gets a uh, production boost. So, yeah, okay. Let's hop back over the river. <laughs> you think they'd be able to cross over a river at this point, wouldn't you, without, you know, struggling, without it taking 10 years. But okie doke, maybe they're very big rivers. Uh, mercantilism could be useful. What's that? Camp improvements. Plus one production, plus one food. That could be useful. Uh, do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? I, I need a, we need a goal with this, really. We need a goal. Rationalism is quite good. An extra science from buildings and campuses. 50%. Yeah, let's go. Let's head toward the Enlightenment. Let's get that. That's going to be good for our science output, which is already looking pretty good as it is. Do you know what? I've, I don't remember a game that I've played in Civ where I've been so popular with so many of the Civs. That's quite remarkable. Obviously, apart from Japan, who clearly don't like me because I took their cities from them like a big old meanie pants. But other than that, everybody else likes me. And if I hadn't have attacked Japan, I wonder if they would like me too. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's build a thing on there. There we go. Nice production boost. And biscuits... Biscuits has its trader. Do we trade with Tokyo for 12 gold per turn? That is very, very good indeed. But we could send a trader from Biscuits down to Cupboard to give us 2.5 gold per turn, plus 4 production and also 3 food, which will make that grow quicker, which will mean more population, which means more loyalty being sent to Tokyo to make it struggle. So yeah, let's go for that. It's not like we're short of gold. We don't need the 12 gold. So yeah, okay. And production as well is a good thing. Production boost is a nice thing to have. So yeah, we'll take that. Um, okay. Let's. Well, do you know what? Let's build a temple. It gives us some faith. We might be able to do something with it, possibly, at some point. We could spend it on a great person, actually. Can we buy ourselves a great person? How about Shakespeare? We could just get Shakespeare on board, because we've got slots for this. We haven't got any tourism going on. In fact, I should possibly go and check this now. World ranking. Science victory. I am leading. Yeah. 73.9 science per turn. I've researched 28. Roosevelt has only searched, uh, researched 24, but now he has a bit more science per turn. Culture victory. Russia is leading. Domination victory. I am leading. And religious victory. Russia is leading. So science-wise, nobody's done anything yet. Culture-wise... We have nothing. We've got nothing going on. Whereas Russia has got indeed some touristy stuff. Yeah. We might want to get some stuff in for people to come and see for in terms of tourism. Just in case. Uh, domination. We've got their capital. Hooray. <laughs> it's every other Civ's capital. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. That could be quite hard to do. And uh, religion wise. Yeah. It's fairly evenly spread. Okay, so science, we are sort of, we're allegedly in the lead, which is quite a surprise because we've only got four cities, but okay. Um, what were we going to head for with this? What were we going for? Oh yeah, we're trying to stay in the industrial era. Let's try and figure, let's try and get all the things in the industrial era. So let's get siege tactics. It's no bad thing. Renaissance wars, that's quite cool. You guys go and sort them out, please. Yeah, next turn, they'll be done. Uh, scouts against some other enemy scouts. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll just run by. I don't think you're going to attack us. There's some barbars in Arabian territory, however. That's not good for them. I don't care, but it's not good for them. Um, right, he is saying he would like Nitre 
and incense, and he's going to give me some horses and a rubbish amount of gold. I think not, my good man. That's a shame. Yes, well, your deal was your deal was rubbish, to be honest. Your deal was terrible. So, uh, no. So there was me saying they're going to leave us alone. No, those barbarian scouts attacked my scouts. So uh, I'm going to run away. I'm going to bravely run away. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That city there. What is that called? Homs. Homs is indeed in a bit of trouble. They've got some swordsmen, barbar swordsmen lurking around. That is not good. That's not going to help them. Um, oh, no, the builder's got an extra charge. Of course he has. Of course. Okay, go there. And we'll build a, a thing in there. We'll build a, um, uh, whatever it is, a uh, lumber mill or whatever it is. Uh, you go and sort them out, please. Bishy bashy bosh. Enemy spearmen dead. Camp cleared. Lovely. We don't get any era score. I'm now worrying about my era scores. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little bit stressed. Getting stressed out, getting stressed out. I, we need quite a lot. We need quite a lot of era score to not go into a dark age, which is not going to be good. That scout just tried to attack us. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Silly, silly. Uh, yes. Go back to... Uh, go back to cupboard for the boost for food and production. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, go on. Off you trot. And um, yeah. Build a uh, build a lumber mill on that tile. And that's going to be quite good. So that'll give Brew a bit of a boost. So that's quite nice. Teapot is going to grow in size. Very good. Good job, Teapot. Uh, you guys just heal up out there for a bit. Why not? Just sort of recover. Oh, oh, this is not good. That's not good at all. Run away, little scouts. Flee. Flee for your lives. Leave me alone. They could attack us. The scout could attack us. And if that scout attacks us, we will probably die. Uh, he says, would I like to give him amber incense? And he gives me silk and dyes. I think you've already given us dyes. Well, could you give us silk and spices? I don't think we've got spices. Oh, and and he offers me open borders as well. Absolutely. Yes. That is a good deal. You're better at dealing than, than the uh, Norwegian guy. You're much better. Yes, well, you can you can come round more often. Splendid news. <gasps> oh, my goodness. We've got the Great Zimbabwe. I've never, ever seen this. I've never seen this. Oh, it looks tremendous. It's got little huts and a tree and... These things at the back that I inside that I don't know what they are, but they look very good anyway. Oh, look at that. That looks very, very good indeed. I've never seen that before. I've never been able to build this. It's so situational, but now I've actually finally been able to build it. Hooray! We get some era score for it. We get plus four, which is very nice. It gives us a trade route. That's very cool. And I think we get plus five gold as well per turn. Okay, you need to run away. Go to there. Then go to there, and then go to there. Run, yeah, okay, I've run into a corner, but hopefully they won't bother following me. And then I'll just run along the coast and then try and heal up somewhere. Okay, now we need to build something in cupboard. What do we go for? I'm tempted to build an armory, and then start churning out some of our um, some of our special units. Because we can build the Malon Raiders now. Maybe we do that. Let's get ourselves, yeah, let's get the armory built. Plus two production as well, which is no bad thing. It's only four turns, so that's fairly quick. Uh, Biscuits has built whatever I told it to build. I can't remember what I told it to build, but it's finished it. Um, yeah, get medieval walls. Why not? Or a Gudwara? Plus two food? Oh, absolutely. Yes, plus two food is always very good. Yeah, get that. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got a bit of a mishmash of religion going on, haven't we? Cupboard and brew are Eastern Orthodoxy, whereas the ones at the top here... Teapot and biscuits are Buddhists. They're Buddhism. So yeah, that's quite intriguing. Uh, loyalty. Oops. And ticked it. Oh, it's going at 1.4 point, uh, points per turn. We need something else. We need another thing to start pushing loyalty up at Tokyo. And, it, and then it will fall. If we had... I don't know. Can we do... Can we get another... We can't get another governor in. If we put a governor in brew... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that might help a little bit. A governor in brew will help a tiny bit. Maybe we need to start focusing on what can give us a governor next time out. That's a good plan. Yeah, we need to get ourselves a governor. Put it in brew. That might start working on Tokyo a tiny, tiny little bit. Siege tactics is unlocked. Right, let's try and run you guys away. Hopefully just there you can heal up. We'll heal those guys up just there. They can just sort of just sit and hide <laughs> because I don't think it's very wise for them to go exploring anymore. 
Right, celestial navigation is going to be no use to us at the minute. Neither is military tactics. Right, cartography, mass production, astronomy, all that kind of stuff. Do you know what? Let's get mass production because it's been boosted. Why not, eh? Why the heck not? The thing I'm worried about is this. I'm worried about the eras. Uh, NITER for all that stuff. Do you know what? No, I'm not going to keep giving away all my NITER. You are giving me marble, but the amount of gold isn't enough. Do you know what? No. Sorry, that's a shame. Yeah, go on. Wave your dismissive hand. That's it. You do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. We'll heal the scout up. Heal he heals. Eventually when he can. So, forward to find till healed. But, yeah. If someone does come nearby, if a big barbarian swordsman comes nearby, you just run away. Just leg it. Just flee the zone. Flee. Run for your life. Just get out of there. Hopefully, it will alert me. It should alert me, shouldn't it? So, yeah. They can sit there. Basically, freezing basically freezing but they can sit just there right these guys then let's bring them back into our territory let's put them just there why not that'll take them a little while to get back but that's absolutely fine they can start the slow sort of approach back to there seven turns until the forbidden city couple of turns until the gudwara couple of turns to the university and one turn to the armory oh it's all kicking off in the next seven turns we are going to be such a different place right you've got an armory that's very cool do I want to build us a Malon Raider? Yes, I do. Yes, I jolly well do, because I want to see what one looks like. <laughs> because that's quite cool. That's very exciting. Yeah, I've already got some horses. I don't know why um, Norway keeps trying to peddle horses to me. Uh, you have left the richest parts of your, the land for your enemies to claim. Are you so scared of expansion? You liked me a minute ago, Long Nose, and now you're whinging about the fact that I've not expanded. Whingy whinge. Oh, is it because he likes cities that are... Uh, sieves that have uh, more cities in him or something. Something like that. And because he's now settled these little cities over here, he's got Aretium. Uh, he's now got more cities than me, so he's saying, oh, you haven't expanded enough. blah de blah What a silly man. Uh, let's get ourselves astronomy. Why not? That's up here, isn't it? Somewhere? Yeah, four turns. Because it's been boosted, astronomy is nice. Uh, biscuits. Biscuits finished building its little uh, little thing there, thing in the religious uh, district. Let's get walls. Wally, wally walls. I don't, have they even got walls? Yes, there are some walls, but they're not good walls. They're medieval walls. And Brew! Brew's got six out of eight housing. What can Brew build now? Brew cannot do very much at all. Bread and circuses. <gasps> we can do bread and circuses there. Yes, on itself and other cities nearby. While active, each of your citizens here exert plus one loyalty pressure to this city. Uh, this pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles, which is 10% less effective. Once completed, instantly gain plus 20 loyalty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes indeed. I will absolutely do that. Now, it might not affect Tokyo very much. It might not have that much effect, because they are one, two, three, four, five, six, they're eight tiles away. So it's not going to be that effective. But maybe... Maybe we need to get a entertainment district thing up here. Maybe we need to get one in teapot. Plonk it anyway. It can go anywhere. It doesn't really make any difference. Put it there and then do bread and circuses. And that, we, we could have Tokyo. We could take Tokyo from them. And we will have a new thing. A new city. And it'll be on the coast. And we can have coastal things. We can have a boat. We can have a harbour. It shall be glorious and happy days. So yeah, okay. There's a plan then. Right, now I just want to rush time on. I want to get that done. I want to take Tokyo off them now. I know it's going to take a little while. Forbidden City is on its way, hopefully. I really hope we get that. Uh, open borders for eight gold. Really, it's a bit rubbish. Can we not just have open borders straight back at you? That would make it more sensible. And no, no. Uh, no, because that's just stupid. I want open borders with you. If you ever run open borders with me, we're, we're sharing those open borders, my good man. We are sharing them. Not having it all one way. Oh, that means a bar bar encampment appeared somewhere nearby. I often wonder why you say so little. I believe you've nothing interesting to say. Yep, that, that's probably about right. Diplomatic service. Okay. Oh, the bar bars have appeared just there. Uh, okay, yeah, they weren't. Oh, hang on. That's a new Norwegian settlement. Because there was some bar bars over there. But no, the Norwegians have expanded up here, have they? And Magnus is in that city. Okay, uh, our scouts have healed. We might need to run away a little bit, but that's fine. We'll run up into this corner of the world, see what there is. Tobacco! Another resource I don't think I've ever had whilst playing Civ. I don't think I've ever had tobacco. He is saying, 
Uh, I will give him nitre and incense and open borders, and he gives me salt and some gold. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I quite like that in the salt, and that is quite a lot of gold. 11 gold for 30 turns ends up being quite a lot of gold. That's over 300 gold at the end of it. Do you know what? Yeah, right. I'll go for that. I'll absolutely go for that. Thank you very much. Yes. Cheerio, my good sir. Who but Mapuche could create the Malon Raider? And who can possibly resist it? Plus four era score. Oh, that's made me feel a little bit less uneasy about going into a dark age next time. So what do they look like? Oh, they look very, very cool. They look very cool. I don't quite know why we need gunpowder to create those guys. Gunpowder is one of their requisites, unless they're also holding a gun. Or are these some sort of very, 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 very rare gun that I'm entirely unaware of? The gun that looks like a big spear. Is, is that a gun? I don't know. Okay, let's run them down here. Look. Da, 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 da. Yes, we've got our special unit in play. We can fortify you just there. So we've got one of them. I'm quite happy with them being there right now. Let's build something else. Let's get... Me this place doesn't even have... I know, it's got... What are they? Ancient era walls or something. Ancient walls. Well, let's upgrade your walls. Let's get medieval walls. Just in case a siege happens. Just in case something bad happens. Let's get some proper walls in place. And I think astronomy, the completion of the research of astronomy, has now inspired colonialism. So that's been boosted. That's very welcome. And astronomy is done. So what are we going to go for now? Well, let's go for cartography. We need cartography to get to square rigging, to get to industrialization, to then get coal and all the other good stuff that comes from that. Because you get factories and stuff, which is very, very good. So yeah, we'll get cartography. Do you know what? In fact, let's just tick square rigging as well. Get uh, cartography. Get square rigging in. And then, yeah, we might get boats. We might get boats at some point in this game. We might get a bit boaty. I mean, for now, we haven't got any. But, you know, it might happen one day. Let's run these guys around there. Okay, yeah, okay. That wasn't very interesting. <laughs> I thought there might be something more interesting up here. But no, nobody's settled in the uh, in the frozen north. Okay, the trader from Teapot has finished. I think Teapot repeats its route back to cupboard for the gold and the production and, more importantly, the food to keep this growing to exert more pressure on Tokyo. So, yeah, okie doke. Absolutely go back and do that. Scout face. Yeah, cross over next time out, would you? And we have biscuits. Biscuits can now do a thing. Now, yeah, how, what do we need? Population of 13 or greater for an entertainment complex to be built here. Now, one of these needs the entertainment complex. Whether it's biscuits, whether it's teapot. Teapot would be preferable to have the entertainment complex because it's nearer to Tokyo. Uh, biscuits is one, two, three, four, five tiles away, whereas teapot is only four tiles away. So teapot would benefit more from the entertainment complex in terms of trying to get Tokyo over to our side. Let's have a look. Is it falling? <gasps> Loyalty to the Japanese Empire is falling. It's only 1.6 points per turn, but it's falling. It's falling. We are looking awesome. The Japanese people are looking over these borders and looking through to our cities and going, those guys are pretty good. I like those guys. Yeah. I remember when we had two cities of ours and they flipped over to the uh, to those uh, Mapuche folks. Maybe we should do the same. So yes, discontent will be rising in Tokyo. That's very, very exciting. That's very good. So um, here we can put the Patala Palace, a diplomatic policy slot, 26 turns though, that's quite a long time, uh, and it gives us plus two culture as well, must be adjacent to a mountain. Well, we've got a perfect spot for it there. Why can we not build it there? What have I? What did I not read? Uh, must be on a hill. Oh, a hill adjacent to a mountain. Well, I don't know what, there's a hill there that seems to be adjacent to a mountain, I would say. So we could put it there. Is that the best thing we could build? The bank gives us some monies. Yeah, Renaissance walls gives us some tourism-y stuff. I'm tempted by that. I like the idea of the diplomatic policy slot. Taj Mahal, yeah, sort of good. Chichen Itza, not so much. I quite like that. Diplomatic policy slot. An extra one. Let's try and enhance our governments as much as we can. So yeah, okay, there, absolutely. Pop it on there. Oh, and they've just dug up a great big mound of earth. Well done, folks. You did that quick. And next turn, Forbidden City will be complete. And we get to pick another policy thing. And it's a wild card one, which is very, very good. That's very exciting. Medieval War's nearly done. Bread and Circus is nearly done. Oh, it's looking tremendous. And there is the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City. Next to the Colosseum, belonging to the City of Teapot. Who would have thought today, Sim? <laughs> the City of Teapot. Look at it. 
tremendous. I like this one. This is one of my favourite wonders, I think. One of my favourite wonders. Because that slot's very, very useful indeed. So, uh, yeah, we want to get that in. Uh, Brew needs more housing. Does it? Crikey, plus four era score. Okay, that's very, very good. Um, okay, what can Teapot build now? Um, I, I don't know. Ancient walls might be good just in case they do come attacking. We can defend ourselves and it's only two turns. And then we might get the entertainment complex in. Hang on! Government Plaza! Because we've got ourselves the extra stuff. We've got ourselves the extra... Um, the uh, thingy, the government, isn't it? I think it's the determined by your government. So we could get some of those in. However, we do need to boost her. We need to uh, promote Liang. That would be useful. But yes, we can get foreign ministry, which is to do with fighting, by the look of it. Intelligence agency is to do with spies, and then the Grandmaster's Chapel is obviously faith. I think we'd probably go down the spy one. Also, awards a governor title. Awards a governor title. That's quite good. They all award governor titles. That could be quite good. That could be quite good. Do you know what, though? I'm going for Ancient Wars just, just to basically get that done. Get that out of the way. And wildcard policies. I'm very tempted by the great engineers, but we could do with some great artists and great writers to actually give us some stuff. To give us some things. How? What are we doing with those? Have we got any of those? Oh, great writer. We've nearly got a great writer. Five turns. We'll get Miguel de Cervantes. Him. That folk. Him. This chap here with the rough. The tremendous looking rough. So that's good. Great scientist. We're going to get Dmitry Mendeleev. We're probably going to get Adam Smith. That's very good. Oh, yeah, he's cool. Grant one governor title, recruit a new one. And we're going to get Da Vinci. Wow. Okay, we're the, we're the top in engineer, merchant, science, and writer. That's tremendous. So, um, yeah, so we'll get Da Vinci as well. Okay, well, that's, that's all good then, isn't it? That's all very good indeed. I like that. Only two people are getting great engineer points. Me and America. What's everyone else doing? How have you not built industrial areas yet? How have you not built industrial zones? I don't know what they're playing at. What are they playing at? They're clearly going down these routes instead. Because Russia have got quite a lot of sort of culture stuff going on. So yeah, we could do with a bit of that. But more down the science route. So yeah, what do we want to go for there then? Do we want to get ourselves great engineer points? I think so. I think so. Let's go down the great engineer route. Let's get lots of those. And then also we'll get another one of these soon as well, hopefully. If I gamble to build the um, build the thing pays off, build whatever that thing was. The Patala Palace, was it? The Potato Palace? Then, uh, yeah, get another one of those. Get the diplomatic policy slot, which is no bad thing. I like this one. There's one about spies. Governors provide plus two loyalty per turn to their city. <gasps> is that better than great engineer points at this exact moment in time? Plus two, oh, plus two loyalty per turn to their city. Does that mean that the city then exudes that loyalty back out? I don't think it does. I think that's plus two loyalty toward the city they are in. I don't know if that goes back out or not. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I don't. Can, can we test that in some way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush. Um, can we test that in some fashion? So if we say that's falling 1.6 points per turn. Okay, well, let's let's go for a gamble, shall we? We can always swap it out next time anyway. If we put that in, so go, yes. Governor's providing plus two loyalty per turn. Absolutely. That's lovely. Move it on a turn. We'll push things on. Is there anything going to be completed? Bread and circuses is going to be completed. And medieval walls as well. So lots is going to happen next time out anyway. So let's see. Oh, we might get a false reading on that then. We might get a bit of a false reading on that, but okay. Uh, right, scouts. Yeah, wander the scouts about up here somewhere in the frozen wilderness. And let's just check that now. So now that's going down three points per turn. I think that did take effect. Yes, <laughs> three points per turn. So 30 turns they can rebel, but we can just keep up in that. We can just keep working on making loyalty improvements and getting that even quicker. That's tremendous. Uh, okay, the capital. What do you want to build, capital? I would quite like to get an archaeological museum in. I kind of want to get that done. It's only five turns. We can have artifacts. Can't be built in a 30 square district that already has an art museum. We haven't got one of those. So yeah, I think we do that. We go and get some artifacts to put into cupboard. Get us some sort of culture boost, which would be quite nice anyway. And also... Uh, it gives us the chance to go and you know, get things and tourism and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get an archaeological museum in that one. And then in Brew. In Brew, what do we want? Ancient walls might be useful. 
just in case. Just in case we get attacked. Just in case Japan come a-knocking. And, do you know what? All right, let's push it for one more turn. Let's get the ancient wars done in Japan as well. Japan, why have you not got... I mean, yeah, you've only got one city, possibly. Okay, there's loads of land to expand to another city. What are you doing? Um, amber for marble and load of gold. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Why have Japan not got any better units? Other other civs must have better units because I'm trading NITA and stuff with them. And, you know, they've got the stuff in their lands. Like, um... Uh, these guys, where Rome had NITA just there. Yeah, look, Rome have got NITA. So I imagine Rome are going to have sort of musket men or whatever. But even Japan must have researched some better technology than to give them archers. I mean, that's rubbish. That's terrible. Okay, Scouty McScout faces go that way. There's another city up there. Is that Arabian? Oh my goodness me. That's big. Oh, hang on. Is that Valletta? Isn't that a city-state? Oh, they captured that, did they? So, yeah, that's... Arabian territory is quite big. Mm, okay, right. Better be wary of those guys. And Teapot has finished. What can we do with Teapot? Entertainment Complex. Entertainment Complex for five turns. We just put it anywhere. Then we do Bread and Circuses. And Tokyo will succumb and join us. So, uh, yeah, where's our worst tile? Where's a rubbish tile? There. That's a kind of rubbishy tile. We could always put that there, look. You go, yeah, fine, that'll do. Pop it there. It's one and one. So, yeah, okay, fine. Build it there. Lovely, lovely. I mean, yeah, that would have been all right for a campus. I'm not that bothered. That's one science point, and it's going to take ages to get one anyway. So, okay, there we go. It's it's looking good. It's looking good. We've got some theatre stuff going on here. You know, we're going to have an archaeological museum just here. Walls. We've got defence everywhere now, which is good. We're putting another wonder. We have completed two wonders in this part alone, and we've got... The entertainment complex underway. We should then do bread and circuses to exert more pressure, loyalty pressure on Tokyo to flip it over. It's oh, it's only falling 1.6 turn uh, per turn now, not the three like it was. But still, I think we can have that. I think next time out, Tokyo will succumb to us. We shall put enough pressure on it that Tokyo shall indeed fall. Oh, that could be very, very cool. And then we'll have a coastal city, and finally, all the stuff we're learning about boats will actually come in useful. So we can't do anything with boats at the minute. We've got all this stuff here. We've got caravels and well, you know, fishing improvements and all that. And we don't know what any of that is. So yeah, that's going to be quite cool. Also, that's a very good wonder looking at now. Gain three governor promotions. That's quite good. And three great merchant points per turn. Must be built adjacent to a government plaza. <gasps> Could we possibly get that in place? On top of there or something? I don't know. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. We shall see how we get on next time. But we are going to leave it there for now. In a, in a fairly good place, if I'm honest. A fairly good place. So hopefully you are enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. The pyramids was built far away. The terracotta was built far away. And the Great Wall was built far away. Far away sounds like a very good place to go, doesn't it? Greece, you handsome devil, Alexander. Hello there. King Nipplehead is not at the bottom of the table. I'm above him. Oh, and that was a rather ill-advised move.